hello friends in this video i am going to implement two important commands which are git pull and git push so the one thing you have to keep in mind is that git pull means whatever is on the original repository of github that if you want to use git pull then that means whatever code would be there on the original repository that would be pulled to your local system whatever update there would be uh, on the original repository that would be updated into your system as well and git push means uh, for example you want uh, you made changes into the original code into your local system and you want those changes uh, on to the repository uh, of github online then you have to push all those changes which you made into your local system and those would be reflected uh, on the original repository which is on the github right so let me uh, take an example and then you will able to uh, understand uh, better that what's happening actually i already mentioned you uh, i already in the previous videos i already created a, a repository repo1 so inside of that repo1 i have created test.html and right now i am going to take the clone of this specific repository into my local system so i am going to uh, copy this url and then after i have already created a project named folder inside of this i am going to uh, take the clone so how you can take the clone i am going to uh, going inside the directory downloads then after i have created project named folder and inside of it i am going to take the git clone git clone means the whole repository would be copied into my local system so i am going to right click here paste here and press enter so the whole repository would be cloned into my local system so now if you will see inside the project you will find repo1 inside of repo1 we have test.html file which was already on the repository right so what i am going to do is i am going to implement the uh, uh, git pull command right so what i am going to do is i am going to create a new file here for say example uh, this file name is example dot html right and inside of it i'm going to write some code for example html open html closed and i have some head tag and inside of that head tag i have a title title open and title close and i'm going to write here example and then after i have the body tag and inside the body tag i want to add some content for example i have a head tag and inside of head tag i'm going to write this is example right so now i'm going to commit all these changes directly from the repository commit new ch new file so this file would be saved into my repository so right now you can see that there are two files into my repository example.html and test.html but in my local system if you will see in my repository uh, you will definitely find that only single file is there so how we can uh, we can uh, make available the bunch of files which are on the original repository online but not available in uh, our local system so here is the simple command for that which is uh, firstly uh, yeah git pull this is the simple command once you will press enter okay here is certain okay okay actually we need to go inside the repository so cd repo one right so inside the repository we go, uh, we are going to execute this command git pull so once you will press enter you will find out that all those changes has been uh, added into our local system what does changes means means 
uh, the file new file created or might be there are certain files in which you have changed some code so all these things would be added into your system so now if you will see definitely the yes of course inside the repo one folder you have two files available example one dot html and test dot html right so that means that using git pull you can make available all the code which is on the original repository of github online and uh, that would be uh, that by using that uh, git uh, pull command you can make uh, that code available to your local system right so now we are going to uh, implement the concept of git push so i think you understood the concept of git pull so this is the simple meaning that whatever is there in the uh, github repository that would be uh, pulled into your local system right and then after there are a few commands which are uh, attached with git push so let me execute all this so first example i am going to uh, modify this example dot html file right so i am going to add a new line and i'm writing here added new line right and going to save this and as you know that these changes are only into my local system not on the original uh, repository for example you want to see that code into the original repository once you will open example.html you will find that only single line this is example not uh, the other line which we have added into our local system so how we can make it happen that uh, the local content the local file content uh, should be pushed into the or original repository so that process is actually called git push right so here is the command prompt i'm going to uh, clear the screen and what i'm going to do is git status firstly i am going to check the status so the status is showing me that change is not stacked for commit actually we are not going to commit for now but we are looking uh, some modified files which are example.html as you have seen that we have added a new line into the example.html and which we want to update on the original repository of github as well so how that is possible so we have checked the status and from that uh, git status uh, command we found out that uh, we have example.html file into which we have made some changes and we want that file on the original repository so how we can make it happen here is git add right and which file you want to add example.html so now that is added so how you can uh, see that this is successfully added for the commit process uh, you can execute the command git status so now this is modified example.html and this uh, here is the uh, line which is changes to be committed means whichever uh, uh, files are inside of it these are going to be committed committed means these would be pushed to the original repository so now this is the time to uh, commit so git commit minus m for writing a message so adding new line adding new line is the message so what does this message means for example you are going to uh, make changes uh, into this example.html file so uh, if somebody else is also going to see your code uh, modified code he would able to notice that there are some uh, changes into this file so he would definitely uh, surprised about the changes so if you would have written some message while committing then he would uh, definitely read the message and able to understand that uh, what are the changes that has been done into the specific file right so in the larger projects there are uh, certain features that are added by the different de developers so um, uh, each developer could able to understand by looking on these these messages uh, so they could understand that 
uh, what's happening into the repository right so I am pressing enter and yeah uh, one file change one insertion so up till now there is not any change on to the original repository you will definitely find out that this is example there is nothing in the second line but we have already we actually uh, have the file in which we have added a new line but that is not on the system so we are going to execute git push command git push yeah once you will uh, execute the git push command then the whole bunch of changes whole bunch of things which you added for commit uh, would be shifted to the original repository so now if you will see on the uh, original repository and refresh the page you will notice that there is a new line added here which is add new line so what does it mean that the changes from your local system has been pushed to the original uh, repository right so one thing i uh, want to make you clear that uh, sometime uh, you will uh, get the error message while uh, while committing right while committing and uh, while pushing git push command so at that time what you have to do is i have written here the solution you have to write actually there is the uh, permission issue so you have to write git remote set minus url origin https uh, double forward slash and username whatever username you have uh, choose for your uh, for your github account that username should be added here and then colon and then the password of that repository that uh, specific github account and then at the rate github.com and uh, exact this is the exact uh, url of your uh, cloning repository right so this would be not this would not be changed right github.com uh, and whichever would be the username that would also be over here and repository name dot git right so once you will execute this command then uh, you will definitely able to push the changes and might be at that time you were not able to push the changes so uh, what you have to do is you have to again uh, add the uh, you have to again add that uh, specific file and then again uh, commit and then again push means the three commands you have to repeat git add git commit and git push right if you are uh, facing issue in git push otherwise it's okay so i already uh, done all these changes so here uh, you have uh, seen that i have implemented two commands git pull and git push so git push is attached with three more commands which are git status git add and uh, git commit so these are the three basic commands which are really important while pushing the code so you have seen all the facts all the important things uh, inside the github that how you can use and the github for pushing purpose for pulling purpose for creating repository and all the things so if you have any uh, question or anything else you can also uh, write in the comment and if, if you want any new video on uh, github uh, then you can also uh, uh, leave a comment so that i could able to understand and i could able to create a new video so that's it for uh, this video actually thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.